Okay, sorry about that, but my recording cut off as I was taking the bass out. So, um, for this, I went to go take the bass out, and this part of the bass, the, I think the bird's head, like, went flying off. Luckily, it didn't break. <laughs> um, but that does come off. And let's see. Okay, so these signs come out. I have just the tiniest little bit of breakage right here. And I don't know if that's from um, shipping or for when I went to take this out and the head came off, but that's an easy fix. Uh, nothing, nothing that I'm worried about, so. Okay, all right, so there's the base pieces. There's the base. Get out of frame again. I'm always checking. My camera seems to stop recording when I don't notice it. Some more of the sign. I guess you have options for the sign. I'm not sure if there's any switch outs to be honest. All right, here's one of the hands for the, that holds the cape, his uh, right hand. Here is his left hand holding the, I guess the battering gun that holds the battering. And here are all the little fins that will go on, including some of the batarangs. Now this one looks to be like the tip is broken off, which it has. So the batarang tip on that one is busted. And I can't tell if there's any other little breakage in this little pile, but uh, the, the tip of this battering is busted off right there. So we'll have to look through. Um, and see if there's any of these other little pieces that are broken. I really can't tell to be honest if there's, that's the only one, I, that's the only one I'm for sure I, I can tell there's a little bit of breakage. I'm just gonna wrap those back up. From there, here is the, I guess this is the optional uh, left hand. So I guess you have the option of having him hold the battering or the grappling gun, not the, not the battering gun, the grappling gun. Here is the grappling hook, and this was packed very nicely. Like that. And then we got Batman himself. Oh, let's get the head out. Only one head with this guy. But it looks good. I'll come in closer on all these pieces in a second. And that's it for that. Get Batman out. So yeah, I'll have to prime this before I do any work on them. It's no big deal. Okay, that's it for that section of the kit. All right, so we're gonna lay him here. The base pieces. Hands, head, and all those little pieces there. And I got that little piece I gotta glue back on. And then over here we have the cape. And let's see how this looks. Yeah, so this would be my first prototype paint. I wasn't sure if I was gonna get like a production casting or how that worked. This is, this is, uh, this is basically a, a casting that's been cleaned up but not primed. And this looks like it's been packed very well. You can see all the putty work that the factory did here. They've gone in and cleaned up the casting. So you know, when you get when you get one of these, typically the factory's already gone in and done the priming too. So this will take some more work to do. I got some little rough spots here. I got to fix some sanding, but uh, you know it's nothing to be. You know it's a kit, so I'm not nothing to be unexpected. So let's take a look. I'm gonna put that down. Put all this stuff to the side cape right here. I'm going to pause. I'm going to clean up and come in a little bit closer. Okay, so let's look at some of these pieces a little bit closer. We're going to start with the base so I can kind of put them together as we go here. All right, so here's the base, the main part. And like I said, I had a little bit of chip out right here. And again, I'm not sure if that happened in packing. 
in shipping or when I want to take this out and the head fell off. Um, so I'm not sure. Now there's no magnets in this yet, so I'm not sure if the, uh, there's no magnets in the base, I should say. I see some magnets in Batman, but there's no magnets in the base. So again, this is a prototype. I'm not sure if that's gonna be um, in there. I would assume it would be, but this head is pretty dang big right here for the base. So when I do this, um, I won't be able to leave it in there right now because it'll fall out. But it goes in there pretty nicely. And I may have to do a little putty work. There's a little bit of a gap in here around the edges. Um, so Mark, when you see this, just to know that this casting, there's a little bit of a gap around the bird head. Uh, may want to have the factory look at that. Uh, see if there's anything they can do. What I will do is I'll probably sand this key down a little bit and see if that helps suck it in. Um, but it feels like it's in there pretty solid, but there's a decent gap around this on this side and a little bit up here. So I'm not, I think you can see that in camera. So right now I can't put this in because it'll fall out. I don't want that to happen. Uh, on the side here we have, okay, on this side we have a key for the ac the ACE chemicals sign. Now I'll go there. Again, there's no magnet, so it's not gonna stay in right now. And again, I'm, I don't know if the production one will have that, but when I do this, I'll add my own magnets uh, for Mark. And then on this side, we have Gotham City, which goes up top, or sorry, it goes down the bottom. I'll add a magnet again. There's no magnet here and a cool cityscape plaque that will go up there again. I'll add a magnet there and those fit pretty good. There's a little bit of a gap on this top one. You can see there, Mark, it's not wanting to sit flush. So I'll have to see if that's something I can mess with to get that to sit better. Again, the key just may be too tall. I may have to file the key down a little bit. If I take out the Gotham city sign, yeah, it still doesn't sit down all the way. Now what they have done, which is which is cool, is they actually, when they made this, there's um, little keys that fit in the, the grooves of the bricks. So those look like they're lining up pretty good. So that tells me that maybe this key is, hasn't been trimmed enough. And all the casting on the back of this sign has been molded to fit around the brick and everything. So that's pretty cool. I just think the key is not, hasn't been shaved down enough. So we'll have to do that and add a magnet. Put that to the side. The Gotham City. Look again, again, these will all need some sanding and priming. That seems to sit down there just fine. Yeah, that's nice and flush. Uh, actually, no, it's not nice and flush. You can see a gap right there. So I'll have to, again, try to sand that key down. So, so I'm learning uh, as a prototype painter you necessarily don't get a production casting. So uh, this is gonna be more work um, than if I, if I was buying, you know, getting a kit. Um, Cause typically these come ready to, you know, for the most part, ready to paint. But what I can do is I can put that to the side and we can look at Batman himself. Okay, you can see some gray here. This is where the factory's gone in and done some putty work to clean up the casting. And it's nice and solid, nice big pegs in the feet. Um, great texture to the clothing. This really nice kind of reminds me of the Captain America that Mark put out. That kind of great, um, I don't know how to describe it. Not canvas, but it's got a real nice texture to it. Uh, I should take paint really nicely. Cool. So he's going to go obviously here. He's going to peg right in, assumably. that and he slides right in no problem nice so so it pegs in good and then next you would do let's see I think the cape would do, go next if it makes sense to me cape goes on next it wraps around his body like this okay That actually fits really nice. Um, it's molded perfectly to his arms. 
So it's in there right now and it's not even being held in with anything. Let's take a look at the face. Looking really good. Um, yeah, nice. Again, how, this will need a little cleanup. There's some schmutz on, but this whole thing will get a light sanding. And actually, this this pink may be a primer. Um, now that I'm looking at it, because I just scraped. Yeah, this this pink is like a, a factory primer. It's typically in gray, but maybe it's like their first stage of priming. All right, head goes in there, and it fit perfectly. No gaps. Uh, nothing whatsoever. Very nice. And then for his left hand, we'll do the the open or the closed fist first. That fits in there perfectly. Nice magnet. It's molded perfectly to the cape, and there's no gap right here. Let's take a look the, at the um, grappling gun hand. Again, same thing. Goes in very nicely. So those fins will go down here in the bottom of the hands, uh, the gloves, obviously. Okay, now this one, we'll be interested to see how this works because this wraps around the cape, like he's holding this cape. So, let's see. I'm trying to think how you're gonna put this in. Okay, I'm gonna take off this hand and the head. So what I think you have to do, you might have to put the right hand in first. So let's see if that's true. So you put the right hand in. Okay. And then, yeah, so you gotta put, you gotta put the right hand in first. like it should grab the cape okay let me try it again the recording yeah okay so I'm gonna try to put the right hand in I think I've got it going the right way I don't think it'll fit in that way yeah it only goes that way Okay, so it grabs right in there. So this is tricky. Good thing this isn't painted yet. Okay, that goes in. Okay, that goes in. Okay. Okay, there we go. It's a little tricky, so you have to kind of put the right hand in first. Now with this being painted, um, after it's painted, it's gonna be tricky not to scratch the paint. Um, trying to think, I'll have to play with this to see if there's a, no, a better way of doing this, assembling this, so it, you have less chance of doing that. But uh, it fits in there good once it's in there. There's that hand, there's that hand. And I'm gonna pause and come down on the camera. Okay, so I got him on the base. I got him on a turntable here so we can do a spin around. Uh, he looks good. Um, great pose. Great sculpt. Um, fitting issues. Um, so far, it's like the only fitting issue I see is with the signs. And now this... Okay, there we go. This is a tricky kind of little thing right here. Getting this all kind of lined up. Um, getting this together without scuffing paint is going to be tough, I think. Um, I'll have to play with it a little bit more. And once I kind of figure that out, I'll kind of post my findings as far as getting that together without... Because um, right now there's a little bit of a gap in the back, and that's there's, a, there's an alignment issue. So, But he looks cool. I um, really like it. And then... Love the cape. I'm a sucker for a big flowing cape. This will get magnetized. Big old quarter inch, half inch magnet right there to hold the head in. Uh, again, this by the time this video is released, this will have 
probably been put in production, but uh, Mark, I'm not sure if you have the factory putting in magnets on all this stuff, but uh, I suggest it highly. So a few things, Mark, uh, when you see this video today, uh, gap around the eagle's head in the brick. A little bit of breakage here again. I don't know if that's from the shipping or for when I wouldn't took the base out and it flew out like that. Uh, my initial thought is that it's happened in shipping um, because there's no reason this would have, with the head falling out, would cause this to break. They had these together in the package um, like this, but there was no padding. So um, maybe packaging wise, separate these this piece so it's not actually part of the base. Because my guess is it was during shipping, it kind of was rattling around a little bit and it shipped out a little bit right there. Um, again, on um, this is no big, that big of a deal, but on a painted piece or a production kit that could cause problems um, for your customers. So take that into consideration. The magnets on the hands are really good, nice and strong. Magnet on the head is really good and strong. The fit of the cape is excellent. Um, it goes on really smoothly. Again, it's a little trick getting the hand and the cape and the arm lined up a little bit. So you basically have to put the hand in first and then kind of get the cape to fit around the hand and then over the neck. Um, but he looks good. The molding, what's really impressive is the, the molding of the cape to this arm and this hand. It's like perfect. It fits in there perfectly. And you can switch these hands out really easily without having to worry about messing with the cape. They just go right in. The cape looks really, really cool. Nice big flowing cape. Cool piece. Um, so I can get a measurement on this while it's here. So height wise, so as highest point is on this is gonna be the grappling gun. I would say right about 21 inches with that. Depth wise, as far as like how deep your cabinets need to be. Uh, 17 inches, which I think is the depth, the depth of a Besta, if I'm correct, 17 inches. And then the width, depending on, if I displayed him, I would display him this way, so he's kind of at, facing at you, but uh, the width is right at about 14 inches. So even crouching, he's like 23 inches because he's up on that base. But uh, cool piece, I'm, I'm gonna get going on this uh, here in the next few days. Start getting it prepped and primed, and then uh, I need to get some reference from Mark as far as the colors he wants, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the black version. Um, luckily, the only skin tones I have to paint is the, is the face, just similar to the captain. And then uh, we'll go from there, see if he wants me to do any weathering or keep it relatively clean, but uh, it's a cool piece. Anyone who's getting one of these, I think you're gonna like it, uh, or hopefully you do like it, because <laughs> again, you won't see this video till. Um, it's been put into production, but, uh, son of a bitch. Oh, I'm still recording. Or am I? I am. Sorry. I thought my camera stopped recording. <laughs> it does it every once in a while. Uh, but cool. Yeah. So just those few little areas marked to check, um, with the factory. Again, the gap, the gap right here of the Eagle's head, maybe separating this piece, um, in the, in the packing. I don't know how far along they are as far as that goes with the packing design. But I'll suggest separating this piece. That's a, this is a solid piece of resin. And with it bouncing, you can see even there, if it's bouncing around in there, it's going to want to chip out a little bit here. Um, so just be wary of that. And also, Mark, um, I had a little breakage. I think this is broke. I could be wrong. Maybe it's supposed to look like that because this is the Batarang. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. Okay, never mind. No breakage. That's how it's supposed to go in there. So that goes in there like that. And then there's like a little tip that comes out here. There's an extra battery ring. I'm not sure where that's supposed to go. And then we have all the little fins for the, uh, for the gloves. So like, there should be three sets. Okay, we still... Yeah, we're still recording. Again, I'll have to probably look at the photos to see how these go in. Oh, there we go, that one goes there. This one is gonna go. And these may fit very specifically into specific gloves. 
So we have to try them out if you're doing the kit. Okay, that one doesn't fit there. Okay, this one goes to this glove. Yeah, so these fit very specifically into certain gloves, which is always helpful. That's gonna go there. Then you got a medium one. Again, so yeah, these all fit very specifically. Okay, that goes there. I'm just gonna do one. That goes there, and then, okay, so there you go. So that's kind of how those work. And obviously they're not glued in there, so they're loose, but they all fit very specifically, have certain key sizes. So, um, very cool. I'm excited for my first prototype paint up. Um, hopefully uh, everyone who gets this piece is happy with it. And uh, I think it will be. Mark produces a very excellent product. Um, everything I, I did as Captain America, I, I sold it and I was bummed that I did that. I went ahead and found another one and bought another one. Um, I plan on keeping that in my collection. Um, and then I've got his uh, Spider-Man, which is excellent. I've got a Scarlet Witch coming, his Deadpool coming. Um, I've got a Batman coming. So I've got a lot of Alpha 3 kits on the way. So. Um, now uh, that's it for this video as far as introduction to this prototype paint up um, an overview and uh, the next video will be um, probably just do it showing some priming because um, as far as like putty work the factory looks like they've done most of it so I'll, I'll wash everything in some soap and water I'll fix the keys and stuff and then uh, we'll go from there but uh, thanks for watching